EA Sports, it's in the game. Tuck that ball away, lowered his head, and boom, end zone. It's another one. We got another one. It's her. Who <laughs> that? coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Cleveland from just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw right away is Watson. Brought in over the middle by Graham. Four yards the result of the first play from scrimmage. Second down. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Watson now to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Grant. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. They run for it with Hunt. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not so sure I would have made this call. I'm not so sure I would have said, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, especially at this point of the game. But give him credit. He had a feeling and carried it through. Yeah, that's one where you think, okay, if you're down, two minutes left, the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But in this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. Right back to Njoku. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing again on second down. Watson. Touchdown! Amari Cooper. 34 yards. And the Browns are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he rips that one incomplete there. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and ten. Allen. It's complete to Cook. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Here's Allen on first and ten. Flush to his right. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Allen again. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. To throw again on second down. Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. Touchdown, Bills. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Cleveland offense ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And he's going to have the Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight end, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who moves to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10. Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. On fourth down, Watson. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? To throw on second and ten. Allen, throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that led his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. First down, Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And he's going to have a Browns first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Watson. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Njoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And let's face it, you could put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense is able to react quickly. On 
first down, they go right back to Hunt. Treads him with a stiff arm. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. In motion is Grant. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try the air now with Watson. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Uncorks one for Davis. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Throwing again on second and ten. Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakur. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Throwing again on second down. Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. 
A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much on this one, takes it from the 21. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And Watson has enough for the first down yardage as he slides to the turf. On first and ten, Watson. And that is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 33. But I tell you, you can't fault the pass protection here. He had all day to throw, and he just couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. And quarterbacks will tell you that after a while, they start getting antsy back there. So this is just a great job defensively to stay with these receivers as long as they did. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Now Allen. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. To throw again on second down. Allen. He rifles one that's intercepted. Good pick. And the Browns are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. 51 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Watson. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. Second and eight coming up. The slot man in motion right. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. The Browns on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. 
They'll run again with Hunt. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll back them up two yards and also bring up fourth. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And this is caught inside the five. Oh, that's bullshit. Now first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Chubb will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. The last run got six. Now second and four. Allen going to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They had what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Yeah, just couldn't hang on to the slam. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Touchdown! Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected Two o'clock now. That's what we done. Coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. To throw, Watson. This is the tight end, the Joku. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now Watson. He finds his man complete. It's Grant. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. They go with Chubb on second down. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five and the six. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Watson. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Gregory Russo able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Where they came so close, Charles, they were knocking on the door in a one-possession game, but ultimately the defense held tough to get the victory. And doesn't it feel like it just leads them asking what could have been? So many moments when they could have had a big play to change the outcome of this game. And let's face it, none bigger than that final snap that just fell short.